In one of the horrific stories of the day, we found out from an article that a 23-year-old woman has died after having late-term abortion at a clinic that allegedly openly specializes at abortion at all nine months of pregnancy. LifeSite News reported that Atkins, who Operation Rescue says is believed to have been six months or more pregnant, arrived at SWO on January 31, 2017 to begin her late-term abortion. 80-year-old abortionist Curtis Boyd was slated to commit the abortion. When returned S returned to SWO on February 3, she displayed labored breathing and signs of sepsis, a systemic, life-threatening infection. According to the autopsy report, Atkins was preparing for labor, the final stage of a late-term abortion when the preborn baby is delivered stillborn, having had his heart injected with poison beforehand. A recent undercover call to SWO revealed the facility tells women it euthanizes babies in the womb. Atkins was short of breath, and her oxygen saturation dropped below her baseline, the autopsy states. There was evidence of blood clots in her lungs, so she was taken emergently to the operating room to complete the abortion procedure. During the operation, she sustained a cardiac arrest, the autopsy report continues. Extensive resuscitation efforts were ultimately unsuccessful. She likely did have an infection from the abortion process, it said. Troy Newman, president of Operation Rescue said. UNM is a biased promoter of abortion that is attempting to shift blame onto Atkins' pregnancy, instead of the abortion, where the blame rightfully belongs, Keisha Atkins and her family deserve the truth, not a cover-up. But with UNM and SWO, covering up their misdeeds has become standard operating procedure.